morning. Hello, welcome back. It's been a long time since I've <laughs> held a camera like this more than anything else. I am using my older camera now because it's much more easier to vlog with. I say vlog very loosely because I don't really vlog. But today I did not have any actual plans for a big theatrical makeup. I need to do a lot of stuff around the house. You know when you just let them build up like really too long? Yeah, I've done that. So I need to do washing, I need to clean the house. It is a shambles as you can probably see. A little bit around me. The kitchen needs to be done. I can't remember what I said. I need to do washing. I think I said that first. I need to put water in my car because there is no water in the wipers. And just little bits and bobs like that before I do any makeup. So I'm going to bring you along first to do that with me. So if you do not like watching people speed clean, this is probably not going to be the video for you because that's exactly what I'm going to do. It is currently, what, quarter past ten and it is... I feel like it's a late start to the day. I don't understand how people vlog because my arm is already killing me. It's a reasonably late start to the day. I did a sleep study last night. I know that's pretty strange. I don't, like it's, I guess it's fairly common, but this is what I looked like last night. This is how I slept. I looked like I should have been in, um, oh, what's that movie? The Fault in Our Stars or something along the lines of that because the amount of stuff that was hooked up to me, you'd think I would have been dying. But no, I was just getting monitored. You know how it is. Because I grind my teeth like a little, little crazy man. So I think I'm just going to set you up on a little bit of a tripod and that you guys can just watch me clean. But seriously, first things first, I do seriously need to do some washing. And okay, I'm going into a very dark room. For no reason, because there's actually no washing in here. But in other news, guys, Matt and I are moving. We are planning on leaving Victoria and heading to where the sun shines majority of the year. So we are actually planning on moving up Gold Coast kind of way, get a little bit of sunshine, skip as much winter as we possibly can. And that's sneaking out relatively fast, so that's going to happen in about two months from now. So I don't know when you guys will see this, but around the start of June we're thinking about moving. So we are pretty pumped about it, I'm not going to lie. It'll be nice just to get out of crazy Victorian weather. So when I said that there's little bits and bobs that I need to do, this is like what I'm talking about. They're all clean. They just need to be folded and put away. And my battery on this is telling me that it's dead, but I'm going to try and quickly water my plants before I forget. So I'm going to show you my little house plants. This is basil. And he gets a bit of water, but not too much water. And then over here I've got a, I think a spider plant. And it gets just a smidge. This one here is uh, like the string of pearls, I think it's called. I don't know. It started to die because I overwatered it, so it gets a very little amount. But I'm also struggling to keep the bugs off it, so send lots of love to the little string of pearls plant because it's struggling. This one, no idea. It gets some water. My big beautiful vine gets lots of water. I try and drown it because I can't seem to water it enough. Now this one, it's my baby. I can't remember what it's called though. I think like it's an elephant. Elephant something. And it friggin' strives. And it gets pretty much all the water. And I'm about to get dinner on. I prefer to get it done now than do it later, if you get what I mean. Plus, I'm getting a facial done for the very first time. I've never had a facial done before, and for my birthday at work, got me a gift voucher to get one, so I've booked in at 3.30 today to get one, so I will check back in after that and let you know. But for dinner, we are having 
some lamb shanks. Yes, these are frozen. I'm hoping that slow cooking them will be fine because I didn't plan ahead for this. Okay. to try and attempt the almost unthinkable and uh, welcome to the dark room. Welcome to the dark side, I should say. This is, of course, once I turn the lights on, my makeup room. It is a hot mess at the moment. So let's just get it as well lit as we possibly can so you can see. Sorry about my phone going off. Kenzie is messaging me because we're talking about I had money stolen from me the other week. If you follow me on Insta, you would have seen that, uh, yes, uh, because of the My Fitness Pal breach about a year and a half ago, which I clearly do not use, um, <laughs> somebody hacked into my Deliveroo account, which for those who, though, of you who don't know, it's like a food delivery service, and bought $170 worth of KFC. That's a lot of motherfucking KFC. And yeah, but yeah, we're just having a grand old chat about that at the moment. So yeah, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of makeup recently. I've been doing lots of glam more than special effects, which I know, um, yeah, most of you are probably like, Evie, but we follow you for the special effects. I know, I wanna do special effects, but at the same time, I don't have much time at the moment to do special effects. And there's been so many eyeshadow palettes recently that are just beautiful and colorful and I've wanted them all. So I bought the James Charles one, as you've probably seen, and it is a beautiful 10 out of 10, would recommend. And then uh, Jeffrey, old Jeffy boy, decided that he needed to bring out a blue palette. And if you've seen any of my tutorials, I goddamn love blue. So I had to have it, like literally had to have it. So I, I bought that and um, Silly Evie bought it off the American website, which the price wasn't much different. But uh, yeah, it's just gonna take a little bit longer to get here and uh, everyone else bought it off the Australian stockist and I didn't because I was in a panic in the morning thinking it was gonna sell out and I wasn't gonna get it. I was wrong, I got it, but I was late. Oh, sorry, that was very cross out of me. <laughs> off topic, but on brand pretty much because I ramble like a motherfucker. Yeah, this is what needs to be cleaned. I need to clean some brushes. I found that brushes need to be cleaned a lot more often when you're doing nice colourful looks because you use all of the brushes. It's actually berserk. I'm going to try and show you guys my beautiful... Sorry, I wasn't even here. <laughs> I was too busy focused on my mole that I was going to show you. My mole just here has the beautiful longest hair on it. And I want to see if you guys can see it. I don't think you guys are going to... Oh. Oh no, that's my hair in the background. I was like, shit, that's long. <laughs> no, you're not going to be able to see it. But oh, I'm going to try and prop you guys up somewhere so you can uh, see my crazy, crazy progress. Maybe I'll put you behind me. Um, yeah, so this is just balancing. So if you topple in a second, I apologize. I'm very unprepared. Yes, this is a lube. It is not for what you'd think it'd be for. It is actually to apply to my beauty makeup when I want to do a nice gloss or special effects when I want to make it look wet and dewy. This is this is not for the sole purpose that it was intended for. So, um, 
Yeah. And voila, it is organized. Kind of. I mean, it could be better, it could be worse. Wee. Oh, he oh, hello. I think I'm gonna have to clean my brushes. I really don't want to, but if I don't do it now, I know I'm gonna be angry at myself for not cleaning them when I go to use them next time. So maybe I'll just do a little quick speed clean for you guys of my brushes because they need to be clean. Okay, so I just got back from my facial. Can you see the difference? It is um, really nice, very soft. My face feels absolutely incredible. Zell, my beauty therapist that I had, uh, did an amazing job. So hats off to you, Zell, if you do somehow manage to see this. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I had never had a facial before, so it was a new experience for me and I would do it every day of my life if I could, because that was magnificent and tasty and I had never really had a massage before either and she was massaging my neck and my hands and just my face in general and I just don't know what I was expecting but it went above and beyond pretty much. I need to fold the washing to be honest and it's just a uh, normal top of my list of things to do but I know if I don't do it now it probably won't get done for I'm gonna say like a week and a half if not two weeks because Matt and I both just don't ever fold and put away the laundry because it's just something that yeah doesn't get done and I was gonna say I should probably do it before I sit down but here I am already on the bed and yes I have my shoes on the bed because I'm an absolute monster yep no not a care in the world but um also I just realized that I have this big like reaction on my neck as to where they had some of the sticky tape obviously from the sleep study last night and I didn't realize until like two seconds before I walked in to have my facial so um I've been walking around like an absolute idiot with this big welt it's not really a welt it's not raised it's just a red mark on my neck and nobody had told me <laughs> I've also got these weird little chunks of wax in my hair, so I need to have a shower and get that out. That were left over from, like they had to put, I was about to say, if you know special effects makeup, but you're on my channel, so you've probably seen me use it before. It was very similar to scar wax. It was like a weird, thick, Vaseline-y kind of gunk that they had to put on there. I'm gonna call them a little electrodes, but I don't think that that's probably the correct term. They're just little wires that were stuck to my head. Had like a wax conductor on it. And yeah, you can't really get that out of your hair sheet until you wash it. Okay. Let's go fold this washing. Exactly. Exactly. The world's gonna see it, boy. Freshest, I literally just stepped out of the shower. I am about to put some of this Fanola Aftercolor Care in my hair. Oh, poet, and I didn't even know it. Wow, my under eye bags are looking terrible at the moment. Also some Pantene Leave-In Cream because that's what I put in my hair. I actually really just wanted to get probably the most flattering angle of me and obviously it's from the ground up so you're looking right at my chin, so you're welcome. Um, 
okay, so I think that is pretty much my day wrapped up. I do enjoy when I've got my hair up in a towel because it gives me the eyebrows like that kid from the Maze Runner, if you know what I mean. And by when I say kid, I mean I feel like we're probably around the same age. But yeah, it kind of looks like the kid from <laughs> Toy Story, Sid, I think his name is. This guy has the most wicked brows and I feel like mine kind of, they're dropping back down now, but when you first put them up in a towel and they're crazy. That's what I had going on. But as I was saying, I think this pretty much wraps up my day. I am a about to go back upstairs, just chill with Love Boy on the couch. I think we're probably going to watch Iron Man because we are trying to do the 22 days, wow, of Marvel situation to try and pump us up for the new Avengers. I forgot what I was about to say. I was going to say Captain Marvel, but we already seen that. I could just go to sleep right now though. But if you did enjoy today's little style video, please let me know. Wow, that was hella creepy. I don't know what I was doing. But I asked Matt today when he was doing the groceries to not buy any treaties. I'm gonna say that roughly 40% of the groceries that he came home with were treaties. So we currently have Snickers ice cream sitting in the fridge. <laughs> in the fridge? They better not be in the fridge. They're in the freezer, I swear to God. Um, Because the other night we were watching the TV show Hannah. Or Hannah. Or what, uh, whatever it's pronounced. It's like, in Matt's words, Jason Bourne but female. Um. And she was eating a Snickers bar and we both looked at each other and Matt went to the shop and said he was going to get a Snickers bar but came back with the Cadbury snack block and um, excuse me, but that's not Snickers. And I was a little bit hangry and I was not very happy that I didn't come home with Snickers. I don't like snack. It's not my favourite chocolate. And when he said he was going to get a chocolate bar and came back with a block of chocolate, I was just mildly disappointed. So today he came back and was very proud of his purchase of Snicker ice cream. So I am pumped to say the least. But until next time.